Hej til Lene. Så øh, last vi, last vi har set, er sådan en formel. Det er en meget important question. All of you draw figure, x pi, and derivations part also, write, write and study. Okay. Next, the last portion of that chapter, that is, effect of detergents on surface tension. Effect of detergents on surface tension. When detergents are added, what happened to surface tension? Any idea? And uh, in order to wash clothes, we add detergents. What is uh, what happened to surface tension? Surface tension? What is surface tension? It is the property of the liquid surface, free surface of the liquid at rest. It is the property of the free surface of the liquid at rest by virtue of which it always try to contract the surface area. So here, if uh, when detergents are added, what ha will happen to the surface tension? What that is what we have to study. So you know, when uh, you can see the water taken in a beaker, and then we add some soap molecule detergents. That means soap molecule. Here water molecules and the soap molecules are added, and you know so soap molecules shape is just like a hairpin, hairpin shape. Soap molecules are hairpin shaped, and then the heads of the uh, soap molecule attracted to water. Heads of the soap molecules get attracted to water, and the tail of the soap molecules are attracted to the greasy dirt. We have to remove the dirt from the clothes. Greasy stains. See why? What is greasy stain and other stain? What is the difference? Grease, is, grease will not wet glass. So we cannot clean clothes, greasy uh, stains. We cannot clean with simply washing in water. Because it is not even touching the dirt. There is no interface between the greasy dirt and water. Water cannot wet that. Understand? So if it wet, then only we can clean the clothes. But water will not wet greasy stain. So when detergents are added, it bring a contact, it bring an interface between water and the greasy dirt. The soap molecules, the head part of the soap molecules get attracted to water and the tail part get attracted to the greasy stain. Now you see there is an interface between water and the greasy stain which gives that interface soap molecule. So soap molecules gives an uh, interface between the water and the greasy stain. So now that is held suspended. The greasy stain is held suspended. One part is Soap molecules, one part, the head part, it is attached to the water, attached to water, and the tail part is attached to greasy stain. So there is an interface between the greasy stain and water. Now, when the uh, is in the washing machine, or in, if we simply rinse it in water, what happened? That hell, that can be removed. You see. So by adding detergents, what happened to surface tension? But first tension is reduced. That's why it uh, that, that becomes the contact. That water is now able to contact the uh, able to have the contact with the uh, greasy stain. But first tension is reduced. So uh, what happened when detergents are added to water? Surface tension decreases. So even the greasy stains on the clothes can be removed easily by rinsing in water. Soap is there. Okay. And only that interface will be created between water and greasy stain. Okay. So that is uh, the last part of our chapter. So effect of detergents on surface tension. Surface tension decreases by adding detergents. And you know, you might have seen your 
um, mother washing clothes in uh, hot water detergent and along with that hot water also they use if the uh, not to clean the bed sheet and all okay because if the stain is more they use hot water what is the advantage of using hot water instead of cold water do you know when we add hot water again the surface tension decreases so surface tension decreases by heating one process temperature increases surface tension decreases then by adding detergent surface tension decreases and because of that that um, in most of the insecticides we can see the soapy liquid will be there insect because when soap is there it reduces the surface tension so it can spread on the leaves and all insecticides are in detol you know detol detol also you know that the surface tension is low so it can spread easily spread easily okay so uh, that many applications are there so in, in detol we add uh, that uh, detergents or that we reduce the surface tension to the, so that it can spread over large area then another uh, example can you tell reducing the surface tension so that it can spread over a large area paint paint you know paints and all the paints are made in such a way that it is having low surface tension then only it can uh, spread over a large area Understand? so with that we complete our chapter mechanical properties of fluids